Now Habersham is proud to sponsor interviews with the candidates for the May 24th political primaries. We hope by viewing these personal interviews, you'll get to know the candidates who will be making decisions that impact your life, your family, and your livelihood here at the local and state level in Georgia. We hope you'll vote May 24th, and we hope you'll be more informed in that process by hearing from the candidates themselves in these one-on-one -on -one interviews sponsored by Now Habersham. Hi, I'm Dick Stafford for Now Habersham, and today we're speaking with Stacy Hall, a candidate here in Habersham County for the County Commissioner District 1. Welcome to the program. Thanks, Dick. Stacey. Appreciate it. It's good to be here. Well, let's talk about your candidacy for Habersham County Commissioner. Um, Let's talk about your formal education that prepared you for this role that you're seeking. Uh, formal education, well, I've got an um, undergraduate degree in, in physical education. I taught and coached on the high school level for about five years and then have a master's degree in uh, sport management from Georgia Southern University and then have a PhD in sport administration from Florida State University where I worked for the athletic department for six years. Um, and I'm uh, graduate of Leadership Georgia, Leadership Habersham, and also been through the Georgia Academy for Economic Development. Uh, so uh, I think those experiences have, has, have prepared me fairly well. As a uh, Habersham County Commissioner, or Commissioner in any county, anywhere really, you, you uh, manage people, you uh, produce budgets, you stick with budgets, Absolutely. and you also have to have a vision for the future. So tell us a little bit about your experiences in the past outside of your formal education that might have prepared you to do those kinds of uh, responsibilities. Well, first of all, I've taught on every level of education. I've taught through elementary school, middle school, high school, and, and uh, undergraduate and college or graduate level uh, classes in college. But I've run a lot of different budgets. I, I've run medium, large size businesses. Uh, before I was at Tripp McConnell College as a business professor, I'm, as we talked about earlier, I managed the multimedia rights for the SEC. Uh, so that was about a $114 million budget that I, that I ran, and I had about 80 full-time staff that was under me. Um, I, at the corporate level, I actually did handle all the national uh, sales training, did a lot of new business development. Uh, I would negotiate $100 million contracts with schools like Georgia and Kentucky and Tennessee and, and, and various corporate entities uh, via sponsorship. So uh, I think that, that those experiences have, have prepared me uh, very well for the opportunity uh, uh, as a county commissioner to manage budgets. I'm very comfortable with large budgets and uh, managing people. We have seven uh, municipalities in Habersham County and then of course the county government as well. What is your vision or your idea of how these municipalities and their needs and their funding might work with the county and the leadership in the county? In other words, well, yeah. Is there some way we could work? We, in the past, we've mm -hmm. not been known to work together, right. although yeah. recently yeah. We, we actually have been. Yeah. So, Well, I think it's that? gotten better, but you know, as I've been campaigning, I've, I've spoken, I've sat down and spoken with all of the seven mayors and many of the county managers, and we've had a great relationship. Uh, and it ha the relationship between the county and the municipalities has gotten better, but I don't think it's where it needs to be. A case in point, we're, what's going on with the, the radio maintenance fees, uh, which should have never happened. We didn't have the proper communication on the front end. Uh, I think it's absolutely imperative that everybody understands that the county government is not superior to local municipalities. We are both co-equals, we have different roles, but we both serve the community. It's important as a county commissioner to have a deep personal relationship with the folks at the, at the city level and understand their needs. Underst the citizens of the city also live in the county, but we have to work together. We have to understand, we have to listen to the mayors, listen to the city managers, work cooperatively together to be able to come up with some solutions. So um, I don't believe that we should ramrod decisions through through at the city level. We've got to listen to them, work together. What would you say would be your focus or a goal or some need you think the county needs to work on that maybe there hasn't been enough attention to pay to when you were to come into office? Well, everybody's talking about economic development, and certainly I do think that is that is the overarching issue. Now, we may differ on, on how best to go about that. A lot of discussion has been developing the 365 corridor, and I am in favor of that, Dick. I, I do think we do need a, a detailed strategic plan on how we're going to develop that 365 corridor, but that's a 10 or 20 year project. We need to start on it now. 
but that's not going to bring jobs in immediately and help our disproportionate tax burden uh, on in our community. What I would like to do is focus on putting policies and incentives in place to help existing businesses grow. I think our net return on an investment would be much more substantial and greater if we invest in current existing businesses within our county, helping them to grow good paying jobs. But as I've talked to a lot of the business owners, one of the issues is that they're having a hard time finding employers or employees. They're having a lot of people can't even pass drug tests. So we need to build a consortium between the private sector, the businesses in our community, the educational system, whether it's the school system, uh, technical colleges, the four-year colleges in our area, and our governments, municipalities and, and the county government. We need to build a, work together with the Economic Development Council and the Chamber of Commerce, build that consortium to help um, educate and train these, these kids that are coming up now so that they can fill those jobs most immediately for the existing businesses. And then we'll be prepared as we develop the 365 corridor. My son is a product of Habersham County and Habersham County Schools and an attorney. He happens to be president of a, a small town hospital like Habersham County. He's the board president of the hospital. And they're facing right now uh, a lot of debt. In fact, there are some real similarities between his hospital and our hospital. Uh, everyone in Habersham County really, I think, uh, respects and has a great love for our local hospital. But uh, it's getting expensive to run small town hospitals. As a county commissioner, what are your thoughts about the relationship between the hospital and the county and what you might see in the future on that particular topic? Well, I think the relationship could be better. Uh, I've gone to a hospital authority board meeting. I've met personally with Jerry Wise, the CEO of the hospital, and, and I want to work with those guys. Um, I will say this. We need the hospital in, the com in our community. We need that hospital in our community for several reasons. First and foremost, uh, we need to ensure that the hospital provides quality care to all of our citizens. So if that hospital goes away, we're, everybody has to go down to Gainesville or maybe Stevens County, that's not, that's not good enough. Uh, we need something here. Economic development. That hospital employs a lot of people. It pays a lot of taxes. Um, well, not taxes, but it, 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 it there's a trickle-down effect with the taxes because of the local businesses that are tied to it that support the hospital system, uh, like doctor's offices and imaging and things of that nature. But it's a huge, hugely important from an economic uh, development standpoint. Now debt, you know, debt's a big problem. We need to make sure the hospital is viable. So uh, the hospital board needs to decide if it is viable to start looking at, at, at suitors to buy the hospital. Uh, I think the concern there is local control, but those things can be worked out in the, in the negotiation process to whatever hospital system is, um, is looking at us. To help people, uh, Stacy, know you a little bit better, um, what uh, activities, volunteer, hobbies, what things do you do outside that might lend to making you a great uh, county commissioner? Well, my wife and I have, have been very involved in the county. Obviously, my wife was born and raised here. Uh, her parents have owned a business here for years. Uh, my wife was, was co-founder uh, and owner for a while of, a, of Initials Inc., a big company here. Uh, sold that recently. We own a small business now. Uh, my wife and I have been involved with FCA on the board, uh, board of directors. I've been involved with the, the board of directors for United Way, uh, very involved with the chamber. Uh, since I work in, in White County, I was ch uh, chairman of the board for the White County Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I'm on the sit on the Archway uh, Committee. I work with the Water uh, uh, Archway Water Work Group. So uh, I think we're very involved. We're inv uh, members, active members at Bethlehem Baptist Church. Uh, so we're. We're plugged in. Uh, we invest in our community, and we want to teach our kids to invest in the community. I think that's very important to teach your kids to invest in the community. How would Habersham County finally uh, be different if uh, Stacy Hall was a uh, uh, county commission? I think we'd have a greater sense of urgency. I'm very passionate about moving Habersham County forward. Uh, but as we do that and we talk about economic development and we grow and those type of things, we've got to protect Habersham values. We don't want to be Hall County. We don't want to be Gwinnett County, with all due respect to them. We want to be Habersham, and we want to protect our way of life. So uh, I think a sense of urgency to do the right thing, to do due diligence when a vote comes up with the county commissioners, I'm going to do my homework. I'm going to ask the experts that are related to the topic uh, what their opinion is. Now, at the end of the day, I'll, I'll cast a vote on what I believe is right and wrong, partly guided by my, my faith, but I'm going to do my homework and ask people uh, their thoughts. And I think that's what a good representative does 
as they ask other people. So a sense of urgency, passion, and, and new energy. I think we need new energy from in, in District 1. Uh, we need, we need a, a, a breath of fresh air. We've been speaking with Stacy Hall, a candidate for Haversham County Commission. Good luck, Stacy. Thanks, Dick. Thanks okay. for having me. I'm Dick Stafford for Now Habersham. We're talking today with Sonny James, candidate for Habersham County Commissioner District 1. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Dick. Uh, we'd like to ask you a few questions about your candidacy sure. running for county commissioners. Uh, running a county like Habersham requires a mixture of management skills, budgetary understanding and ability to have uh, an envision for the future and future needs for the county. What's been your formal education in your life to prepare you as a Habersham County Commissioner? Well, I uh, grew up here, one, I know the people quite well, I think, and I think they know me. I went to school and high school here, elementary school, high school, and college at North Georgia College in Dahlonega. After I graduated from North Georgia College with a business degree, I went to work with the Army and Air Force Exchange Service, which handles all the BXs and PXs, the retail stores on the bases throughout the uh, country on Army and Air Force bases. I've also been throughout the world. I've been to uh, Europe, to the Pacific, to the Middle East, and all over the United States visiting bases. I've seen a lot of different things, small towns, big towns, what's made them successful, what has made them become unsuccessful in the, in the way of the people looking at them and saying, I don't want to live there. I want the rural atmosphere. I want different atmosphere than what I've got here. So you see all of that and you bring it home when you come back. I retired in 1995 and came back to Georgia or Habsham County in 98 and built a home here. When I came back, it was like the same way that I left when I left in 1966. There's still a lot of jobs that were not here. A lot of the manufacturing and that we had once at one time had gone away and moved. Uh, so I was interested in seeing things change, but not change and lose the atmosphere that we had, the rural atmosphere, the closest that the people are. Uh, you know, it's still nice to walk downtown and talk to people on the street and see what they think. And you want to maintain that. But at the same time, you've got to realize we need growth in economics and in business and in commercial and in industrial if we can get it but you want to have a plan as to where that growth is going to be. Fortunately enough, they built 365 while I was gone, which is an ideal area for growth. Uh, you have to have a plan, a vision of what you want there. You have to have a land use plan. Uh, a lot of different things that you've seen in other places, you don't want to happen in Habsham, but you want to plan so you can keep people in Habsham, working here, living here, bringing their kids up, and continuing with their grand grandkids. So I think I have the experience, the background, and the knowledge and the ability to understand people uh, that brings a, a unique experience for me to be happy I'm kind of commissioner. Uh, and as you know, uh, in being a commissioner, the only thing you can really affect is policies and procedures. You identify budgets, you gather together all information about budgets, but you have to have the ability to realize that you can't control everything. You have to be able to realize what you can do and what you can't do. Uh, and you've got to get the people on your side. Sonny, we have seven uh, municipalities in Habersham yes. County. Each of them have uh, their own law enforcement uh, right. and its managers. So uh, a lot of people feel that these seven cities have worked more closely with Habersham County over the past recent years. Uh, what could we do more to make the entire group work together? Well, Dick, as you know, the more you can talk to people, the more you can get them to, to come out and tell you exactly what they're looking for. The same is true with municipalities. Whether we combine municipalities or whether we combine services or not, it's going to be a response from the people in the cities and in the county. Do they really want it? As was brought out last night in the forum, they don't want to give up their identity, and we don't want them to give up that. That's what makes Jefferson County unique. So by working together, we can make it beneficial for the citizens and for the people both in the city and in the county to make it more unique for them. 
uh, and to work together to make things happen. As you know, we have a large problem with water and sewage throughout this county. We have seven municipalities, each one of them have their own. Uh, Demers and Baldwin are the two, Demers is the largest service delivery area in the county. Baldwin has a, a withdrawal from the Chattahoochee, which makes the water a lot easier to get. Everyone else either gets their water from Hazel Creek or from Sequoia River or from Wales. No one individual municipality has sufficient supply to service all the county. So in my, my uh, reasoning, it makes more sense for us to work together so we can provide the necessary water and, and sewage that we need for industrial growth or for commercial growth. Uh, along 365 is where we want it to do, want it to go. So we have to work together to make sure we do that. The county gave up their water system to Demarest a few years back because we only had about 35 people on the county water system, which was not profitable, it was costing money. Demarest has a much better system, and they accepted the, water, the county water system. They have got, as I said, the largest service delivery area. Baldwin has a big draw from uh, the Chattahoochee River. The rest of us get it from either wells or from small uh, creeks, rivers. So by working together, we can make it uniform throughout. And the people have to decide whether what they want us to do because we are servants of the people. And if you listen to them and talk with them, they will tell you what they want. Now, in all cases, you can't always do what they want you to do. You've got to look out for the best, uh, the best of, for everybody. So you've got to coordinate that with what the people want and what is good for the county as a whole. And I think we do that. Sonny, we have something like 600 miles of roads in the county. Yes. And I guess about 70, 80% of those are paved, maybe more. Yes. Uh, some are not. Right. Uh, there's been some discussion in the county about uh, paving all the roads here. Could you talk to that? Well, it would be nice if we could pave all the roads, but unfortunately we can't economically. We can't afford to do that. In some areas, we have maybe two or three families living on one road that is a dirt road. We, it's not a county road. It's a private road. The county can't expend funds to go out and do private roads. In some cases, they are county roads, but... The county road has a, a requirement that we have to have a 60-foot right-of-way. Some people don't want to give up the right-of-way. If they don't want to give us the right-of-way, we can't pave the road. So we scrape and we put gravel down, uh, which is the best thing we can do. All the roads in the county are not going to be paved. One, we can't afford it. Two, people don't want it. They don't want to give up the right-of-way, so we can pave them. And we have a requirement of having a 60-foot right-of-way from center line 30 foot on one and 30 foot on the other. Uh, some of our roads only have a 40 foot right away, which is not uh, enough for us to pave. So economically we can't, uh, the people don't want it in some cases. Uh, people have a strange sense of moving up here and they see it and it's beautiful, it's unique. They get up here and they realize all the mud and all that we have on roads. And sometimes in the winter it's very hard to get out. But yet we, we can't just pave all the roads. Uh, it's just not feasible. What one area uh, in Habersham County responsibility do you think needs some real uh, guidance and some work on uh, in the future if you're elected? The one area I really feel a passion for is the planning and vision for what Habersham County is going to be in 5, 10, 20 years down the road. We want to keep it rural from everyone that I've talked to. We want to keep a rural atmospheric setting. We want it to be more of a, uh, a nice place to come, talk to people, get a feel for what it is. But we also have to realize that we need economic and industrial growth. We're not going to get big factories. We're not going to get something that is going to pollute the air and, and make the countryside look different than what it is now. But we have to have a vision and a plan of what's going to happen in five years or 10 years down the road. You've got to have a land use along 365 of what kind of business you want to go there, how you're going to get them there, 
Where is the water and sewage going to come? Are there going to be auxiliary roads so that people can get off the freeway and get to the businesses? Uh, there's a lot of it, and we're working on that now. We created the 365 corridor overlay, uh, and it was passed last year by the commissions. Uh, we're working on a land use plan to identify along that corridor where we want business, what type of business we want. We don't want them just to go out into the countryside and destroy the atmosphere that we have here. So I think that's the biggest thing we've got. That will bring commercialism, it will bring industrials to a certain extent to this county. Uh, as you know, Hall County already has that industrial park coming up 365 that is going to assist us in doing it. We do not want to be another Hall County or Gwinnett County. We want to keep our uniqueness. And by having a, a plan to do that, we will keep our uniqueness. And if you can get that across to the people, then I think you've accomplished a lot. Are you a registered voter? Yes, I am. <laughs> and have been all my life. Good, good. Um, being a county commissioner, um, I don't know about Haverson County, but I was raised in another state, and I re recall this being a problem actually in this, the community I lived in. There were conflict of interest in businesses that county commissioners owned and did business with that they owned themselves, uh, w which would be a conflict of interest. Um, do you own a business that uh, would be a conflict of interest for me? No, I own no businesses. I'm retired, as I said, from the Army Air Force Exchange for 30 years. I'm retired. I have no other interest in Habsham County. I have no agenda. I don't want to go anywhere else. I will probably be, uh, be put to rest right here in Habsham County. In fact, I know I will be. Uh, my only interest is to see this county grow the way the people want it to grow and not just uh, be another metropolitan or another bedroom community or anything of that nature. I want to see Habsham County remain unique, remain rural, have the atmosphere where you, you have no problem walking out of your front door, talking to your neighbors, or going down and having coffee somewhere and listening to the people like they used to do uh, in general stores where they all sit around the, the pop belly stove uh, that atmosphere is something that we're missing in this country, and we need to keep that, where a man will look you straight in the eye and tell you what he believes and what he thinks about a situation. You don't always have to agree with him, but you don't get angry with him either. You listen. You learn. And that's something we have seemed to have gone away from. Thank you very much, Sonny James. Thank you very Candidate much. Candidate for Haversham County Commissioner, District 1. Good luck. Yes, thank you. We hope you've benefited from these interviews sponsored by Now Habersham. And we want to remind you, be sure to vote May 24th.